Brexit deadlock, UK unveils final no-deal plans as EU offer remains unacceptable. Britain has unveiled its final preparations for a no-deal Brexit as sources said the current offer from the EU was unacceptable. Talks continued overnight and the Prime Minister pledged to leave no stone unturned in seeking a deal. But detailed plans have now been drawn up to cope with potential disruption on January 1 in the event of no deal. Government sources insisted, the UK will be a sovereign nation in three weeks' time. The news came as it emerged that the country has already secured trade deals worth almost £200 billion with the rest of the world. Boris Johnson and the EU Commission have agreed that, a final decision should be taken about the future of Brexit talks on Sunday. A government source said, as things stand the offer on the table from the EU remains unacceptable. Although discussions will continue today, they were described as, very difficult. The Prime Minister and Ursula von der Leyen, President of the European Commission, are due to speak on Sunday. But sources say Mr Johnson will not shift from his demand that, any deal must be fair and respect the principles of sovereignty and control. The government insists it is now ready for an Australia scenario. A key sticking point to an agreement has been fishing rights, with the UK yesterday scrambling gunboats to protect British waters and vessels from French fleets. Opening his speech at the start of the Climate Ambition Summit yesterday, the PM appeared to make a reference to the ongoing row with the French president. Mr Johnson offered his thanks, to my co-host Emmanuel Macron who I know shares my keen interest in protecting the ecosystems of our seas and oceans. However, moves to use the Royal Navy were criticised last night, with Tobias Elwood, Conservative Chairman of the Commons Defence Committee, calling it, irresponsible. The other major sticking point is that level playing field provision to ensure fair competition and standards in the future, a move tying Britain to the EU. Senior Brexiteers believe the Prime Minister must end the talks today and walk away if necessary. Former Tory leader Sir Ian Duncan Smith said, surrendering to the outlandish demands of Brussels is simply not an option. Labour MP Graham Stringer, a director of the Centre for Brexit Policy, also urged the PM to walk away if a good deal is not possible. And as preparations for no deal are ramped up, the Sunday Express has been told that the Department for International Trade has secured 57 trade deals, worth £193 billion a year. A source close to International Trade Secretary Liz Truss said, no matter the outcome of the EU talks, we're showing Britain can deepen ties with nations beyond Europe and succeed as an independent trading nation. A Cabinet Office source has also revealed details of domestic no-deal planning, with £4 billion of measures already in place. It means that a late appeal for an extension to the talks by the Irish government will fall on deaf ears. A special no-deal cabinet committee, called XO and chaired by Michael Gove, has now met more than 200 times and will continue to meet daily well into the new year, along with a higher-level committee called Super XO, chaired by the Prime Minister. The government has hired 900 more officers to man our borders, with another 1,100 to be recruited by March. There are also over 20 helplines for specific sectors.